Hello my friends, we are here today with Methods Machine Tools in Sudbury, Massachusetts and I have the great pleasure to speak with Matt Myers. We're going to discuss a little bit more about this MV1000H and its significant benefits of rigidity and being able to cut harder materials. Matt, can you tell us a little bit more about this machine? Of course, so the MV1000H is a part of our Methods line of machines. We developed this machine line a couple years ago to really help fill our product portfolio and uh, deliver to customers machines that we think will help their productivity. So this machine very specifically is a three axis vertical machining center. So it's, it's a box a Y in the Z, linear in the X, Y. So on this machine you'll see we have, it's a 15,000 RPM, 40 taper machine. And what we have today set up is we have two demos that we set up specifically for the die mold industry. So we have one that really focuses on the power and the direct drive spindle and the heavy cuts that this machine can take. And the other one is focusing, uh, it's a crankshaft mold showing the absolute amazing finish that we can do on these machines. So we've talked about this a little bit more previously. When we talk about the rigidity of something, if it's not rigid enough, we get chatter. Mm -hmm. especially when we get to those harder materials. So we do have some parts coming off of here that have brilliant finish due to that uh, increased rigidity of that 40 taper machine. Mm -hmm. So a, a lot of the rigidity goes back to the way it's built and we've worked really closely with our partner Litz High Tech to make sure that these machines came out with the standards and specs that we had in mind. So it's a very heavy machine. Uh, the, the box way and the Z is a really big part of that uh, rigidity as well. Uh, well, boxways are known to be kind of the meat and potatoes, so they say, mm -hmm. of creating stability, a stable foundation for a machine that needs to cut harder materials. Um, so it's really great that you're able to work so closely with your partner to create exactly what you want for the U.S. market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, Litz has been a great partner for us, and with all of the methods of machines, it's about, they're packed with standard features that really make it so our customers can get this machine in and it's already ready to go and make uh, cuts right on their floor. Um, so one of the big benefits of this machine as well is the Fanuc Zero IMF control, which really, with the 200 block look ahead, and that really helps when programming these, these either deep cuts or really precise, uh, accurate cuts with these great finish. Well, you've mentioned it that you're using the Fanuc control, which is used on some of your other machines as well. So mm -hmm. we're talking about a universal understanding of an interface, which allows the customers to feel comfortable with the programming of the new methods machine. Correct, and we've been partners with Fanuc for um, over 25 years, and we have Fanuc controls on all of our machine lines, that ranges from our Nakamoras to, of course, the Fanuc Robo Drills and Robo Cuts, all the way down to our newest line with OKK. So all, all of our engineers and our techs have such a great understanding of these controls that it helps our customers not only when they get these machines, but then when they're working across our different machine lines for the different applications that they need. And that makes complete sense. It's, I, I've had many discussions where it's important that someone feels comfortable with whatever interface it might be, other, some, otherwise sometimes it gets left behind. So brilliant way to include that. I am still learning so much about these machines, but I've seen some great videos from the Incredible Hulk to um, uh, Baby Yoda to, you know, other, other great, but this is more than just, you know, for fun. This is a real complete package. What are some of the bullet points to say, you know what, this is a standout machine and this is why? This machine also comes with 40 millimeter double nut ball screws in the X, Y, and Z that help minimize thermal growth. And this also has thermal compensation uh, built into it. One of the best features is we have 19 individual hand scraped surfaces on this machine. We also make sure that it has the, a lot of standard features that on this machine that other companies have as options. Whether it's the chip conveyor, coolant through spindle, a lot of that comes standard that way, as I said, we want this machine to be able to come out right to the customer and they, then be able to start making chips right away. So we're looking at this machine going, well, everything that I might want as an upgrade elsewhere, I get standard here. Exactly. That's, that's to me, incredibly significant. And you mentioned also about uh, thermal expansion or, or maybe the machine spindle heating up and the way to kind of control that 
which in my opinion is also incredibly significant because when you get into some of these projects where you have multiple vices on here, mm -hmm. you might be reducing the overall setup times, but it's also increasing machine spindle time before it gets a break. The thermal compensation of this machine is extremely important. It's definitely a, a great benefit. Uh, the thermal compensation is monitored by three thermal couples that we have set up through the machine. That really helps keep the temperature balanced and stop that spindle from overheating. That way, a lot of die mold work, you know, runs long run times for these demos. So we want to make sure that the machine is running optimally from when you start it to when it's doing the, the finish work. Very obviously, this also comes with the great methods service team. Mm -hmm. And I imagine that if it's necessary, training also comes with it as well. Yep, we definitely do a, a lot of training. Uh, we, right now, it's a little less hands-on training, but we're in the process of building our training portfolio through webinars and other trainings that we're making available for our customers, which has been really great going forward. But a uh, big plus for this machine series is since we helped develop it, our service team had a big hand in the development. So they already know the machine inside and out before it's even on your floor. That is incredibly helpful for sure. So as a part of learning a little bit more about this line of methods machines, from the smallest machine to the largest machine, what all do you guys offer? So with the Methods brand machine, that the machine line's continually growing to fit what our customer needs are. So on the vertical side of things, it ranges from right now an 800 to a 1600 uh, vertical machining centers. That's all, that brand's actually also expanding. Uh, we have uh, gearhead machines in that line. We have full linear machines in that line, full boxway in that line. So it's really fully immersive for what our customers need. Uh, in the Methods brand of machines, we also have five axis machines with our MB series. And then we also just recently announced a horizontal machine with our MH320. So when your largest machine is 1600 all the way down to your smallest, you still have that 40 taper. Does that mean we can get the same amount of RPM from the biggest to the smallest, even though I have a massive footprint of material maybe inside of the machine? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's true. Uh, with our 40 taper, whether you're at the 800, the 1000, all the way up to the 1600, it's still a 15,000 uh, RPM spindle, 30 horsepower direct drive. Um, it changes if you get a switch over to a, a gearhead spindle, but that's a different style machine, so you need less RPMs and more torque on that one. On these method machines, how many tools can you hold and are they adaptable to full automation? So for tools for the NV1000H, this one has a 30 tool ATC. When you go up to the 1600 size, you have a 40 tool ATC. It changes slightly for our, sorry, our MB series, our 5X machines holds 48 tools and our MH series, our horizontal machines, has a slightly different tool holder. And automation is definitely something that we've been expanding on these machines. Right. We're actually in the process of finishing up development with the, an Indumatic machine, which is a six pallet changer for our MB series, our five axis uh, machining. Really highlighting lights out machining for uh, five axis machining. And that's gonna be a standard automation offering for us. The great thing about methods is we do so much automation. We have a whole custom automation group set up through engineering and our R&D department. So we can automate any one of our machines in our full line. And this goes from three axis to five axis to horizontals? Yep, uh, three to five to horizontals from the methods line to the robo drills, of course, all the way up to Yazdas where we do a ton of automation for customers. And how about your horizontals? Horizontals we also automate. Uh, we automate, uh, we ex do expandable pallets for people if the two pallet isn't enough. And then we've also had a situation where we've added robots to help with uh, the load and unload of parts. I've seen some great videos of that, <laughs> by the way. When you talk here about this methods machine having the ability to have a six pallet changer, we're talking, I can run six different jobs, uh, lights out, and be able to just keep this thing going, or I can run six of the same jobs or whatever it might be. So while this is running, I can switch out a part if I need to, mm -hmm. um, or I can program it to where I don't even have to be around for the duration of those six parts. That's correct. Uh, we really built these machines to be as versatile as our customers needs because, you know, most of the, a lot of times when customers are working on a high mix, you have to have a guy standing there to switch things out or change up the programming. But with these machines, especially with the, the powerful control that we have set up with it, you don't have to have someone there all the time. So you can actually truly have some five axis lights out machining going. 
you guys are very well known for automating everything. And some of your setups with your FANUC robots and robo drills allow for part change, you know, from 10 to infinite, right? Mm -hmm. You can just constantly change out the parts. But this one will allow you to do separate programs instead of repeating the same program over and over again, which I truly love with that six pallet changer. Yeah, that six pallet changer is definitely going to be a, a game changer, and we're, we're excited to announce that uh, and have that hit the markets for our customers. That's really excellent, Matt. And if somebody has a few more questions or want to get in contact with you, where can they find you? You can find us online at methodsmachine.com. And on our website, you can actually go to our map and see who your local salesperson is. That way you can reach out to them directly. Or we also have a product manager for every single one of our brands. So you can reach out to the product manager who will give you very specific insight into details that you might want or have about the, uh, the machines that you're looking into. Thank you for that excellent insight, Matt. I appreciate it. I look forward to, to learning more about these machines, watching how much they grow in the industry, and watching this thing cut. I am excited to see that. Oh, thank you, Tony. It's been fun. All right, guys.